Good morning from the sunny Long Beach, California. We had a funny uh, travel oh, excursion. Jeez. <laughs> Long day. We slept good. We had an awesome breakfast and now we're walking around on this beautiful marina out here and the weather's supposed to get nicer and nicer like as the week goes on. So I'm here for business, an exciting business trip for this one, but lots of pleasure too. So it's nice to get away together. So we're going to cruise this little shop area over here. What was this called? Something Village? I don't know. There's like cute little candy colored shops and all these restaurants and stuff and it just feels good to be out in the sunshine. So we're gonna kind of plan out where we wanna eat dinner tonight and I've already mapped out like a seafood restaurant. That's a definite. Can't say no to a shrimp. No. <laughs> Beach babe. Oh. Hey. Beach body. Sometime next year. <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon. Coming soon. We just enjoyed a beautiful afternoon by the pool. It's not like really warm here, but for us coming from Oregon it you know like 65 and sunny it feels really hot <laughs> but uh we're headed to dinner now we're gonna go to this place called the yard house and it's all along the marina here and uh we just are in time for happy hour too which is always exciting but they have um things like i don't know like burgers steaks sushi seafood it's like checking all the boxes for us right now and just feels good to be outside i'm wearing one of my favorite outfits today too this um this is actually a jumpsuit it looks like a dress but it's pants it's like one of my favorite things to wear so it's, it's so comfy and perfect for dinner tonight because i have room to grow <laughs> So I am in sunny Long Beach, California, and right across the street is the Assistance League thrift shop. It's one of my favorite ones to go look for vintage treasures and stuff. And this one looked really good online, like lots of good reviews, lots of good vintage. So I'm pretty excited to see what they got. All right, I've got to be patient. They don't open until noon. Oh, they have cute vintage in the window. That's a pretty colored dress, isn't it? Like that. Oh great, I'm probably gonna find heavy stuff that's gonna be hard to bring home. <laughs> heavy stuff, yeah. Oh, they have old jewelry case right there. This is gonna be fun. Look at that, rose quartz. That's a pretty necklace. Look at that carved one. It has like dragons on it. That's really cool. Oh my gosh, I love these pants. I have to try those pants on. The Michael Kors belt for only $6. Look at those pants are so fun. <gasps> that skirt, this jumpsuit. Do you see this too, a floral jumpsuit? And that skirt. Oh, whoever does their window displays does a good job. So cute. I wanna try that on, that on, and that on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, we'll only do a loop first. You're not gonna make me ask him? <laughs> you asked Well, you don't know how Selena is. Babe, babe. It always makes me ask. I do. <laughs> I hate to ask permission for anything. <laughs> start doing it. Just start doing it. Uh, well, this is a big shop, but there's like tons of vintage in here. Oh, babe, there's like brand new men's shirts here too. Washable silk. Celine Sport. Look at this. It's like nice nice linen. Baby should look at these for summer. That'd be really nice 
like breathable fabrics, brand new. Fourteen dollars. Hello? <laughs> no? Oh man. Sparkles? Oh, it's this gold moment. Ralph Lauren. I like this cardigan, that's pretty. I like that. I wouldn't wear it like as a matching set. The long cardigan's pretty. So the jumpsuit was too big for me. That really cute floral one in the window is like the cutest shabby chic print. But the associate was so nice and Pete asked them to get these off of the mannequin in the front window. So I'm gonna give these a try on. They're Miss Look brand. Never heard of that brand before, but it looks like somebody like hand painted all of these like fun flowers on it. That'd be really cute. It looks like a crop blank. So I'm thinking I might roll them up. So let's give them a try on. I don't know about this. I feel like I've got a lot of room in the crotch. <laughs> I don't think they're in the best fit, but what I was thinking, it might be fun to take like an old pair of jeans that I already have at home and maybe try my hand at painting my own. So maybe I'll do a little bit of a DIY this fall, but I also don't have much of a booty. I'm pretty flat. <laughs> I feel like this makes my butt look even worse. It makes it look really long. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think these are very flattering, so it'd be a no. How do you think that the street art in Long Beach affects the overall vibe, the aesthetic of Long Beach? I think that it's just really fun and vibrant. I'm from the Portland area. Oh, yeah. yeah, and we have like a ton of street art and like beautiful murals and stuff. So it was exciting to come here and see, you know, Southern California's take on, you know, the artistic vibe in their own community too, because it's all very different than <laughs> Portland. But I don't know, I just think it's kind of fun and it's, it's young and kind of fresh looking. I really like the architecture and the buildings too. We were walking along oh, the yeah. street. I was admiring that pretty building right there and all the pretty kind of pastel colors. Gorgeous. Do you think that it enhanced your trip to Long Beach? Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's fun because you never know what you're gonna see. Like when you turn the corner, and it's like, oh, something different. Oh, yeah. kinda, I don't know. You get kind of a different personality. I feel like on each block as you're walking. Too. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. That was. Thank you Good? so okay, much. Okay, I tried to ramble. No, it was great. Right? <laughs> Thank you so much. We just had a beautiful Uber drive over to the Long Beach Antique Mall. This one I think is gonna be really fun as always when I'm in the hotel room, I'm like Googling every single thrift store or good antique mall around in the area. And this one had a lot of good reviews. I always like going to antique malls when I'm out thrifting in new towns, just because there are so many different dealers in there. I kind of feel like my odds of finding stuff that I'm interested in are a little bit more great because it's all kind of condensed into one giant treasure trove of a building. So let's go see what they got. Ooh, those are pretty. The sconces. This is gonna be fun. There's like, rooms back here too. Oh, oh. jewels everywhere. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that bust. It's like old chalkware. Wow, she's like pretty Art Nouveau looking. Gorgeous. Saw some more stuff back here too. Let's go peek in there. Wow, look overhead. There's all these like fun lamps up here. It's like big ice crystals. Huh? 
it's only $149. That's like really cheap. It's like cheaper like than going to Home Depot, which I would never do. <laughs> wow, okay, I'm gonna find something in this store and know it. Yeah. Ooh, I want like an old Victorian something special today. <laughs> or like check. Ooh, what's that amber necklace right there? With the butterfly and the turquoise? That's really neat. It's like kind of odd, like that collar one back there. Check out this squash blossom. Yeah. Ooh, I love that design on this one, the smaller one right here. It's really a Zuni squash blossom for $12.50, no discount. It's really pretty. Whoa. So I think this is spiny oyster, oh, wow. this kind of shell like that. That's cool. Yeah, really beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Look how cute, it's a turtle belt buckle. Little turtles. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It's $1.95 though. Oh, that's cute. They even have, they're even done with little shells on the bottom. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. <laughs> Is that gonna be one of those things like, oh, remember the turtles? Yeah. <laughs> they were $1.95, I didn't wanna get them. Oh. How adorable are these upcycled tops? They're like made from vintage tea to, oh, it's a little crop top. That's really fun. It's only $20. Oh, those are cute. Look at this one with the doily. Those are so fun, aren't they? Let's see what this is. Are these little shorts? Oh my gosh, I would love a pair of shorts if there's one. I think that, oh, it's a wrap top, this one says. Oh, and they're little tote bags too. Those are sweet, aren't they? For going to flea markets and stuff. How pretty. What's a little vintage? I'm kind of like loving these. But I know I've never wear a crop top. I wish some of them were like a little bit longer. What a fun idea. This is really giving me like ideas when, I don't know, maybe I'll find some of these like at the church rummage sales like I like to go to and we could repurpose some of them together. That's a fun DIY this summer. Ooh, you know I'm always gonna thumb through the vintage clothing. This dress, ah, my favorite silhouette. Oh my gosh, it matches the blouse I'm wearing. <laughs> Here's my big sleeve. I can't resist, like a 50s dress though, like fitted waist, full skirt, totally my style. Love. It's $34. I know, it's so, what if I wore this to dinner tonight with my little white shoes? Wouldn't this be, oh my God. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I lived, in, like wouldn't it be so fun to be in your 20s in the 1950s and wear things like this all the time? Except for I don't bake. <laughs> I'd probably be expected to bake things, which is a no can do, but I could wear dresses like this every day. <laughs> I'm gonna keep thumbing through this rack because I feel like there's probably some cute things. This is the thing, I feel like every time I travel, I probably just shouldn't even bring clothes with me. <laughs> just buy them as you go. Yeah, just like thrift. Someday I wanna do like the empty suitcase challenge where you <laughs> you literally like just bring your underwear when you're thrifting and traveling and then each day you thrift, you get like tomorrow's outfit. I think it'd be so fun to do. I'm gonna do that with my mom, I think. We'd have fun with that. What? <laughs> Look at little peplum. That's fun. Ooh, what's this moment? Oh, it's brown. I love that lace detailing like that though with the yellow embroidery. It's really pretty. 
That color does not look flattering on me though. Okay, let's look on the other side. I'm so fast, I'm so decisive with my vintage shopping. <laughs> Ooh, this is like the Hawaiian shirt section. Oh, this is so maddening. Look at this like bubblegum pink. This is like have a Mai Tai and like ambrosia salad, right? <laughs> Yeah, it must be, or like a ride from the fair. Oh, it says Hollywood Park Swan. Oh yeah, it's like a Ferris wheel. Yeah, how funny. What if you had a giant garden and you could put a whole bunch of flowers in that or something? I don't know. <laughs> it's just cool. Who doesn't love a giant swan? This mall was so fun and it's a definite must visit if you love like real antiques. They had such a good selection here. I got some really beautiful jewelry I'm gonna show you when I get back to the hotel. And I also tried on the beautiful rose dress. I was gonna show you, but of course I was like crammed in this little tiny bathroom, which always happens when I go to these vintage malls, but it's so pretty. And I think I'm gonna wear it for dinner tonight. We're gonna go to a happy hour. And luckily I brought like neutral shoes and stuff with me. So it'll be kind of fun to wear my vintage dress tonight. Our next stop is a place called Leslie's Consignment and Antiques. Um, it said it's a little hidden gem of Long Beach and I'm kind of excited to see it. I called to make sure she was open. She sounded super sweet on the phone, but the reviews again said this place was really fun. So we're gonna have a good day. I'm so glad that I got this backpack for our trip because uh, in California, you have to have, you know, your recycled totes. And plus, if you're loading up with vintage, you don't have to carry around like shopping bags and everything. So I've got my vintage dress stuffed in here and some of my vintage jewelry too. Um, so we'll never know what else we'll see in this place. So we're at Leslie's now. It's really cute, minty green color. So let's pop in and see what we see. We're very dog friendly. <laughs> cool. Or maybe not. If they're puppies, or yeah. friendly. Uh, they have to be friendly. <laughs> Cute. Ooh, look at that pretty, like, oh, it's Asian. It kind of looks like a combo of like French and Asian styling. Gorgeous little cabinet. Oh, look at this coat rack, babe. It's got lion heads on it. That's so neat. Oh, that's super pretty. Of course, I like to look for heavy, impractical yeah. things when we're traveling. Be your carry on. <laughs> oh, there's a Louis I cart. My mom has this one. What if I saw, oh, there's another one. <gasps> what if she has another of the Papillon series? Oh my gosh, how did I miss that? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, that's really neat. Is this marble? Oh, it's sold, darn. <laughs> I love places like this that have little hidey hole rooms you can pop into. What in the world? Someone made a clock from this dog <laughs> head? Clock. Yeah, that is funny. Oh yeah, keep your eyes peeled. The puppy. I think there's four in the series and I just have the one. What a gorgeous lingerie chest this is. Look at all the detail on that. It's $250. Wow, that's pretty. Wouldn't that be amazing, like in your dressing room or something? Beautiful, and you don't even have to finish it. It's like perfect. That'd be so nice for your nighties and bras and stuff. Really pretty. Ooh, she has a beautiful selection of vintage. Oh, what a cute little sundress. It's all cotton, like a sunny yellow. That's really sweet. Lots of pretties in here. Oh my goodness, look at this one. With all the beading. 
beautiful, huh? Look at that print. How cute is it that my husband matches the vintage mall? <laughs> Too cute. <laughs> my mask. You excited for some pool time this afternoon? That's all we've been thinking about. Maybe having a juice and getting a suntan. It's like a nice day of antiquing and, and laying in the sun. What more could you ask for? So that was kind of exciting. I had an impromptu interview on the streets of Long Beach. Uh, it turns out they have like a student film festival competition going on right now. So they were actually interviewing me about the art scene here um, in town because there are like a lot of beautiful murals and um, painted buildings and everything's really fun and vibrant down here. So that was kind of fun to be interviewed for that. Um, the antique mall though, that was probably of course my favorite place that uh, I visited it in the vintage scene because it was huge like we walked in and there were all these like little rooms and shoots and they had a really good collection of actual antiques in there and I did see some pieces that I totally would have loved like if I was back home that I would bring with me that one planter that was like this big urn with the metal gothic feet I thought was super neat like every time I walked by it I kept staring at that thing and as you can see I came home with the dress it's like a little bit big for me around the waist but actually I like that because I a lot of times with these vintage dresses I feel like if you breathe you might like pop a seam so it's kind of nice to have a little bit of room and whenever I travel I always have some kind of belt with me so I just had this white one and I'm gonna wear these uh, little espadrille shoes that I brought with me I just got these at TJ Maxx this summer and they're so so comfortable um, yeah and they just go with everything so I'm super glad that I brought these and it's gonna be fun to be able to wear this dress out for dinner but can you believe it oh. The 1950s. Oh, I love 50s fashion so much. It's not in the best condition. It's handmade, so some of the seams are kind of wonky and like the stitching's kind of coming apart in places. But I think I can mend some bits myself. But for a really cute dress for only $34, I just think it's so fun and it's all cotton, so it's gonna be nice to wear this summer too. But one of the exciting things I wanna share with you is all of the jewelry that I found on this trip. So I actually came down here for some business stuff and I'm gonna be back with one of my seasonal sales this spring. So if you're not signed up on my website, thevintagebombshell.com, be sure and do that now so you can get an alert on my future sales. But you cannot believe all the beautiful pieces I found. I got all of these from a jewelry dealer down here and I'm gonna show you real quick. So I'm pretty much gonna be flying home with like 10 pounds of sterling with me. I did get this necklace from the antique mall. Do you remember me looking at that in the case? It's just a beautiful art deco piece and I really love uh, pieces like this with the old brass and coral. I thought it was really beautiful with these kind of cool spacer beads. But hello, squash blossom. Oh, look at the turquoise in this one. So beautiful. And then this is a signed baguette piece and this fringe one I thought was so beautiful. And I got some incredible, incredible cuff bracelets. Like I can't even with this one. They put on the back of this piece here that this was Stormy Mountain Turquoise. So apparently that's a mine that is not being mined anymore. So what is made and out there is all that will be. Um, so anyways, that was just a really beautiful piece. This is probably one of the largest pieces of uh, turquoise I've ever seen in a cuff bracelet and it's it actually fits a woman's wrist which is nice a lot of these larger uh, turquoise bracelets like this were typically made for men but it fits me so that's kind of exciting um, and then I got a beautiful onyx one this one with some really neat inlay in it a little floral number oh this ring I'm keeping for myself I was like oh my gosh I love this Pete thought it reminded him of a sea creature but I really love the design I always love to keep an eye out for sand cast pieces. Those are my favorite. I thought this one is really beautiful and it has a nice weight to it. Great big chunker here. 
yeah, it was really fun to come down here and find all these neat pieces. This one's really cool. It's artist signed and it has lapis, turquoise, and black onyx in it. And the design is really unique. And then I also got this really beautiful sterling and citrine. I'm going to test this one when I get home, but I just thought that design was really pretty with these neat filigree panels in it. And then these bags here are all filled with tons of really amazing like old pawn and some different kind of sterling rings that I thought were really interesting. Beautiful turquoise and sterling earrings. And then this one's kind of all filled with pendants and earrings too, some really neat inlaid pieces. So yeah, these will all be coming mostly except that one. wonderful Greek restaurant sitting outside just enjoying the summer air and we ordered like happy hour food which is normally like small portions and it all came to the table right now we're like wow we over ordered are you ready for this <laughs> these are called spinach poppers it's like what do you say spinach spicy feta and something else in it I don't know we got a whole plate of calamari here with a couple dippers and this is a spicy feta dip and the gyro. Just, just a little salad. Just a small side just salad. Just salad, I'm not going to eat much. Just not eat much at all, yeah. you know, <laughs> staying healthy tonight. <laughs> have a photo booth like machine here at the little carnival and I was just telling Pete how I haven't done that since junior high so I think we're gonna do it. I always have like you know in the movies where they show like the girl kissing her boyfriend in the pictures I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Nice night. Just love you anyways. <laughs> love you. <laughs> love you anyways. Oh, still. <laughs> still. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out and thrifting with me in Long Beach, California. I hope you had fun with me. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.